Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you all doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a big haul. I have a big fat haul for you guys. <laughs> I have been collecting this and that and the other thing for the last couple of weeks while I was finishing decorating for spring and Easter. Uh, by the way, thank you so much for all of those wonderful comments about my home tour. I have such a good time putting those home tours together, you guys. They're so much fun for me to edit. I love editing them, you know, and I love putting it all to music like that and to give you guys the option to either, you know, to, to watch the whole thing or to split it up and watch what I yammer on about or it just set to music. I'm hoping that I'm covering all bases and making everybody happy. Of course, we know we can't make everybody happy. <laughs> I had one lady complain last week that my videos were too long and that she just couldn't sit through them. And I, you know, I was like, well, okay, I'm sorry that I annoy, I annoy you with my long videos. I don't mean to, you guys, I sure don't mean to. But it's hard for me, and I did tell her this in a comment back to her. You know, I said it is very difficult for me to do bow tutorials, especially bow tutorials, or when I'm making a wreath, or when I'm creating a centerpiece, to make them five or six minutes long. You know, I understand that people don't, all, not everybody has time to sit and watch. You know, I totally get that. I sometimes don't have time to sit and watch. You know, but I'm sure not going to complain about it, you know, it, and I'm going to be grateful for the tutorial or, you know, or, you know, I can go back at a later time when I do have time, you know. It kind of hurt my feelings a little bit when she said that, although I got to stop. I got to stop with, you know, getting my feelings hurt. Uh, you know, that's just silly. That's just silly. You know, you all know me for who I am. I don't say a mean word to hardly anybody ever. And uh, that's another thing. Apparently, my words got misconstrued. I had to block. And I had to block her, though. I, you know, I, I just, I never say anything with malice ever, really ever in my life, you know. Anyway, I got rambling on. I haven't talked to you guys for a little bit, <laughs> so this is kind of a, you know, get me caught up into real time here again, and I'm going to share a bunch of stuff with you here that I purchased and explain, uh, explain uh, what I'm gonna be creating moving forward. And uh, so let's get started. Let's see, I have hauls from Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, and uh, my antique, my little antique mall over in Culpeper, Virginia. I went there, let me do that first. Uh, let me get a little drink of my tea. My voice, I've been having a little trouble with my sinuses. I don't know whether uh, we see the leaves and stuff come back on the trees, but I don't really have allergies. But y'all, I have been just struggling with my um, stuff running down my throat and sneezing and my eyes are feeling scratchy and it sounds like allergies. I don't feel like I'm sick, but it's just like my voice gets all froggy. I sound a mess. So hang on, let me get a drink here. But anyway, we just stopped into this little uh, antique mall. I stop in there every now and again. And I just, I think it's, you know, it's a bunch of vendors who have all their wares sitting out there. And you know, somebody's trash is somebody else's treasure, you know? So I just picked up a few things. One thing that I thought was really pretty, and if you, for those of you who've been with me for a while, you know that I've kind of been collecting these little uh, milk glass with these pinks and purples for in my bathroom, on my sink, and on my dresser. Uh, in there. So I went ahead and picked this up. I don't have a thing in it. It's just sitting real pretty on my dresser right now. But, you know, I thought I could put, you know, who knows what, bracelets, watches, something, you know, in this. But I thought it was really, it was just super pretty. Super, super pretty. It is from Westmoreland. My glasses on here. As you know, I can't see. There's the W on the bottom. I don't know whether I'll be able to get that to come into focus or not. But there is a W, which means it's from Westmoreland. So I just thought that was a super pretty little dish. 
for jewelry or for whatever. Sorry, here we go with this light. I hesitate to sit over here anymore anymore. I don't know what the world is going on with these lights. Anyway, I also picked up a couple of candlesticks. Aren't they pretty? And these were two for $10. That, that little dish was only $13, which is pretty good for that design. Most of, most of the time when I find that design, it's much more expensive than that. So I thought, I don't know whether that lady really knew what she had or the owner of that knew what she had, but $13 for that I don't think is too bad. I don't know. A lot of you are more savvy than I as far as that is concerned. But anyway, both of these for $10, I thought that was a good deal. They were dirty as all get out. It was like she put them on there and said, as is, it had on the tag, as is, $10 for the pair. I went, Psh, I'm swiping these puppies up. So you didn't see these in my home tour because I just got them. So I'm gonna put these up in the, up in the window to, next to those pink chargers, I think. Maybe I'll stick a picture in here and show you what they look like. Just add it into my Easter stuff or my spring Easter stuff on the, on the windows. But you can see I use the pink candles. But I thought they were really pretty. Two for $10. You know, you can't beat that. And there was nothing wrong with them. There, there was a little bit of a, see that little crack on the top there? Let me see if I can get it to focus. See that little, oh goodness, come on. My phone has not been wanting to focus. There we go. You can kind of see it there as the light hits it. Just a little, little like a sliver off of it or something. Don't bother me a bit. I will say, one thing about them is they're really super tight. Talk about not having to worry about your candles going anywhere. It, as a matter of fact, it took the pink color kind of, you can see there on the bottom of that one, off of the bottom of it, it doesn't bother me either. I, in fact, it's refreshing to find candlesticks that hold the candles right. <laughs> so we got those. So that's all I got from the little antique mall. So I've been thinking about, uh, as you all saw in our bedroom and that one video, and I'll put on. <laughs> Chris is zipping around here. What do you need? <laughs> they haven't seen the hand in a while. <laughs> he got me. Look at I'm all red now. Look at my face. <laughs> He's laughing at me. He's a mess, what can I say? I don't know what he was looking for. He was in a hurry though. I don't know what he was looking for. Anyway, uh, a lot of this that I'm gonna get, fix him to show you is for gonna go in our bedroom. I'm going to make a, a bit of a, a gallery wall, if you will, small gallery wall above my cedar chest. I'll put an eye card up here to show you the video where I kind of give a, a little tour of our master bedroom. Uh, uh, but I am going to make a grapevine wreath for in there. I had to put a, a rain check in, and I did pick up my sconches. I have uh, two. Here they are. Here it is. Had to go in today and pick up my sconch that came. So these are going to go on either side. I'm going to make a grapevine wreath. So these are going to go on either side of it. But I had to put in a, a rain check, so I got put and picked up this one this morning and got my 50% off because when you put in a pay, in a in a rain check, they'll honor the sale when you put the rain check in. So they honored the sale, so I got this 50% off and it was $24.99. So above the wreath, I'm gonna put this. So won't that be pretty? And then the wreath in the center between the sconches. So I think this is gonna be super pretty. Let me hold this up to you for you better. This was out of the spring shop and it was $45, $44.99 out of the spring shop. So of course the spring shop is 40% off. So I got this for 40% off today. And this matches the mirror, you know, that goes above the new dresser, you know. And I'm really pulling in against the grayish paint Chris has not painted as of today in there. He may, by the time I go to make my wreath, he may um, have painted in there. He's working on the master bathroom right now. And that's a lot of cut in and a lot of, a lot of hard work. So he's working on that, but the bedroom is next. So anyway, I got this to go above the wreath. So I'm really excited to do some decorating in our bedroom. You guys, I haven't, and we've lived here five years and I haven't done a lick of decorating, really and truly. I have the picture above the bed and the sconches on either side and then I have two scroll pieces on either side of my mirror. And that is about the total of the decor. 
I did have a wall of pictures, which I may pick and choose from those and do a little gallery picture wall to the left of where this is gonna go. Anyway, so I am excited to do this, pulling in this uh, cream, you know, kind of aged, weathered cream, if you will, in the, into that room on that grayish paint. I think it's gonna be super pretty, super soft, and super pretty. So I'm excited, yay! <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Uh, in but that, in that same vein, Evelyn, I think it was you who told me about the bed skirts, that you don't have to lift the mattress off of the bed any longer. Well, I have one on order. I went on Amazon and I found one, and I have it on order. So again, but when I show all this, I'll show that too. Uh, I'm gonna wait to give you a link for that, you guys, until it gets here, until I've used it, and so that I can give you a good review about it to let you know whether I like it or not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. I'm really gonna like not having to pull the mattress off the bed, I'll tell you that. I tried that other bed skirt that I showed in that video, y'all. That poor thing was decrepit. It was faded, it was stained, it was it wouldn't come clean, it was I wasn't long enough. I must have had that uh, bed skirt on our other bed, the other bed before we had the bed we have now. It just didn't work. It just, it just wasn't working. What can I say? It just was not working. I did not pay any more than I don't think $15, if that, for this bed skirt that's coming for a king size. It's a queen king. We have a king size bed. So we'll see if this works. I don't know, but that's coming. And I'll show you that when it comes, of course. But I also, so I'm taking that, the bed skirt on that bed was a rusty color. My cartons in there are a burgundy. I wanted, and, it, and I was silly when I bought that. I thought when I ordered that bed, skirt and everything that it was burgundy well one it was rust well it blended all right and everything so i had the burgundy pillow covers too euro shams i had those well when i pulled the bed skirt off the rust colored bed skirt off and put the cream one on i wanted to change the euro shams but i did not want to spend an arm and a leg and and everything else for three euro shams they can be pricey things so again, I went on to Amazon and I found Euro Shams, nice ones, you guys. These are corduroy, look at that. Corduroy soft and pretty. And these are called cream cheese. That's the color, it's a kind of an ivory. And it pairs beautifully, they pair beautifully with the quilt that I'm not replacing right now. And hopefully when the bed skirt comes, it will pair nicely with these two. So I got three Euro shams that I think all three together cost me like $38, something like that. Free shipping, you know, from Amazon Prime. So these are really nice, big, generous, 26 by 26 for Euro shams. Generous pillow shams, you guys. I love these, I absolutely love them. So then I had two burgundy throw pillows. I already owned those. And I had one pillow form left. I'm trying not to spend a lot of money, you guys. I'm trying really hard not to spend a lot of money. You know, I'm trying when, to be a little bit careful. We've got cruises coming up. We've got some traveling to do, you know? So I'm trying to be mindful, you know, of how much money I spent. And, and you know, of course I get paid and I turn all that money over into my channel, you know, and into my home. But uh, still, I'm careful. So when I found those on Amazon for all three of them for $38, I said, you cannot beat that. Hello, I'll take that. And then the burgundy and ones sit behind this. You know, the burgundy throw pillows that I already have sit behind this. And this sits in front of them, on, in front of the Euro shams, you know. This was like, 10 bucks, something like that, $9, something free shipping from Amazon Prime. I'll give you links in the description for all of this. So I did get these pillows. I love them, I love them. And I'm not breaking the bank, you know, to do a little bit of, of redecorating in our bedroom. And I'm just using what I already have and just kind of switching little things out so I don't have to go buy a new quilt. I love that quilt. And as I said, the picture above the quilt matches. The, I got so lucky that day when I found that at Bed Bath & Beyond is where I found that picture. That's where the quilt came from too. So, wait, those are my pillows from Amazon. So there's my Amazon. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
Okay, let's talk about uh, the wreath next. I'm gonna make a grapevine wreath for in there. And I went into Jo, I bought the wreath frame from Joann's and I found this little sign. Together is our favorite place to be. And that will go on one side of it. And when and I was picking up my sconch, I also picked up this. Crosses are on sale this week. It will be next week for you guys by the time you see this video. So I got this. This cross was $5.99, 50% off of this cross. It's a metal cross. And I'm gonna hang this from the, the, from the bow and the swag or spray I'm gonna make. And then this will go on the other side. If you picture my spring wreath, this will go where my letter went and then the spray and then this will hang down, you know, where I have the little welcome to spring or whatever it is, welcome spring, hello spring. That'll be where this hangs. So I got these two things and then I got some florals to go along with it. It's not gonna be exactly the same as that, but I'm gonna make it in the same way, but it's gonna be a little, little different uh, pieces. Instead of the maiden hair firm, which I have some down here, I don't want that color. Get this back over here. I want, I want this color. And you can see these pair very, very nicely with this. So these I'll turn on one another, you know, and make my swag to go on my, to go on the wreath, you know. And then in that room is mostly, like I say, burgundies and, and then of course the grayish wall and creams. So I thought, let me get my flowers over here. Here's the array of flowers I have picked up. And I'm gonna use that black floral ribbon. I have it in my, my dining room. I forgot to bring it in here, but y'all know the black floral ribbon that I've been using for my spring decor. And I'm going to add roses. I'm gonna add all of this to it. I bought some more roses and pink, pink and burgundy roses this morning. I'm loving the combination like there on my counter, there on my table. I love, it's a, you gotta be careful though. I will say when you're mixing the burgundies and pinks, the pink needs to be a very soft pink. And this is, these are actually pink and cream, but it needs to be a really soft pink. So I just happened, they had these sitting next to one another in Hobby Lobby. I happened to get these and then you can see this, the pink and the, uh, these flouncy flowers are, it's a very soft, it's a, a blushy pink. It's a blushy pink. So all of this will go into my wreath and I'll probably be doing my wreath later on this week, y'all. Probably. So there we go. Won't that be pretty? I think that's gonna be a really pretty wreath. Then I got two more things from Joann's. Uh, yeah. I saw a lady in front of me in line who had a bunch of bird cages. She was buying it for her, somebody's wedding. They were decorating with bird cages, I guess. And I heard her ring it up and they said, oh, that's $5. So that's, and I'm like, $5? Where are these? Where? Where in the store are these? <laughs> so I asked her and she sent me uh, to where they are and I had to go find somebody and have her climb up on a ladder and get one down for me because the lady in front of me had purchased all the ones they had down on the shelves. But I got this little bird cage, it's black. I have no place to put this, but when I saw it in her, her cart, I could not resist it. I thought it was super, super cute. I will use it, you know, somewhere for sure but I have no place to put it at the moment because every, every space is filled up. I just got done decorating. So when I go to redecorate, maybe I'll use this, you know, for sitting on my TV credenza. This would be pretty to, you know, make an arrangement around in the summertime maybe. You know, after I, maybe my next centerpiece will be used, I'll use this. Anyway, I just thought it was super cute. Look at little birdie on top. Little butterflies on the sides. So I thought it was super pretty. Super, super pretty. Five bucks. Can't beat that. And then as I'm walking through the store, <laughs> I never buy shoes from, from Joann's. I, you know, I'm not even sure I've ever seen shoes hanging in Joann's. But they had these. Aren't they as cute as a button? <laughs> oh my goodness, Charlie Albert. They were $6, 
something like that. And I had to buy a size nine. I will say everything's shrinking, you guys. My foot size uh, is, I usually wear, uh, my whole life I've worn an eight and a half. But when I got so heavy, my shoe size went up a size. Well, they only had these in eights or nines. Well, my shoe, foot has never been an eight. So I grabbed the nines and they fit me pretty well. They are a little big, but that's okay. I can stick a tissue in the end or something <laughs> if I want to. Aren't they cute though? Oh my goodness, just as cute as a button. So I got me some shoes and they were cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. They probably won't wear <laughs> for very long, but I thought they were cute. I think that's it, y'all. I think that's it. I think that's my whole, whole haul for now. And uh, again, I'm not sure what's coming up. I think I'm going to be doing a, um, I'm hoping to get to this this week because my cruises are coming up. We're actually doing two cruises. Uh, we're going to be doing a California coastal and then we're going to be doing a Alaska round trip. Uh, so we're doing kind of a back-to-back -back cruise on the same ship. And uh, so I'm gonna, it's gonna be an interesting packing dilemma for me. So I'm gonna be doing a wardrobe video for that. And I'm also gonna be, next up though, I think I'm gonna be doing my carry-on review video. I'm gonna do a review video on the carry-ons that I've used and one that I have not tried yet that Chris just purchased me that is a real nice one uh, that I haven't had the privilege to use yet, but I'll be using on this trip coming up. So. Of course, I'm not going to give out the dates <laughs> that I'm going. For those of you who watch me all the time, you'll realize when it is, when it is. So, uh, but anyway, that's what's coming up later in the week. Probably the wreath and or probably the haul or the uh, carry-on video next, then the wreath. Then I'm not sure I need to do some outdoor decor. I don't even know what I'm doing out there yet, you guys. I may do for Easter out there. Uh, or do kind of like I did in here, combination Easter spring, you know, so it can stay up after Easter a little bit, you know, not sure. So, but that, that'll be coming up too. I get my hair done later in the week, so maybe I'll do a car chit chat that day. I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly what's coming up, but you know what? I'll bring y'all along with whatever comes up. <laughs> so I guess that's it. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you had a great weekend. And uh, a lot of you have really been reaching out to me and letting me know about some health issues that some of you are, ha are having. And you know, my heart just goes out to you. My heart just goes out to you. And I'm so very sorry that you're struggling. And as I've said, you know, that one person complained and, and kind of asked me in a snarky way why I say my final words and, you know, whatnot. And, you know, I, I can't even fathom why somebody would ask me that, first off. You know, that goes beyond my comprehension why somebody would feel the need to ask me something like that. Uh, but I do it for whoever might be in need on that day. And as I've said in the last, I've said it in several videos now, but it, it may not be you today. It may have been you yesterday though. It may be you tomorrow. We all, we don't know what tomorrow brings. We don't know, you know, tell the people you love that you love them, hug them when you see them, hug them tight. So you remember that hug. For all of those of you who have touched base with me about your, your illnesses and even family members' illnesses, I'm so very sorry. And I really do keep you in my thoughts and prayers. I don't just say that, y'all. I really do. When there is a, a special need, then I pull your name out and do that. But I, on a whole, I usually subscribers and those who are struggling, you know, I, I will say a, an all over prayer for everyone. And then if y'all have touched base with me, then I'll pull your name out and, and pray for your, you, your family, whatever, you know, separately. So, uh, but anyway, all right, that's it. I'm on a hush. My goodness gracious, I've talked long enough. <laughs> this is a long video. This is probably too long. renders me speechless y'all renders me speechless anyway let me just say that i hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain i hope that you have someone there with you taking care of you 
helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all of that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.